So a lot of students have been asking for progress reports and, and, you know, is there a way that I can get a good handle on exactly how I'm doing in this course. And other students have been asking for a grade calculator similar to what some of the instructors in 131 provide. And I have finally gotten around to putting one together for this class and that's what we're looking at here. So it's a spreadsheet and to use it, what you do is you enter your values into these uh, yellow cells here, and then the green cells are calculated for you, okay? Uh, you need to put at least one entry into each category. So you need something here in the cat and multiplier, you need uh, a quiz average, you need at least one homework score, at least one exam score, and uh, at least one lab score in order for this to sort of work, okay? So we'll go through the different parts. Uh, this is all based upon the pie chart that's in your syllabus that breaks down how much each component is worth, but this will do the little calculation for you. The first part is a peer multiplier. Um, this only applies to those people who are in teams that I organize. If you are not on a team that I organize, you just enter a one. If you are, we're doing the practice one right now, and as soon as those come out, you can use that practice one to sort of get an estimate of the impact of that. Uh, for your quizzes, um, remember each quiz is two points, and so you put the average out of two, uh, remember to drop the lowest six. So this is the only cell that's really gonna require you to do some calculation. Then you've got your uh, homeworks, Make sure you scale each one to be out of 100. Um, Edfinity has, does it out of number of points. Make sure you do it out of 100. Uh, and it spits out a homework average. That's just kind of for your information. Um, then you've got the exam, the individual and the collaborative. Again, make sure you enter the percent out of 100. I've actually provided that information for you in Moodle uh, where I've made any adjustments to the exam that I think are relevant. Um, so go through and enter those. And it combines those two in the 7525 described in the syllabus to give you sort of a final exam score just for your information. It also provides a running exam average for your information. Again, this isn't really used for anything. It's just some people like to know it. Uh, then you've got the five labs. Lab one, lab two, uh, lab three, lab four, and ultimately there will be a lab five. Um, make sure again, scale each one so that it's out of a hundred and add the 3% if appropriate. So if you, you know, finished early, add the 3% so that the max is 103. And if you have something in each of these categories here, then it will, spit out a grade. Uh, you can see right now it's not because it says you must enter a multiplier for this to work. And if you, you know, don't have something, it actually sort of gives you some, some error messages to sort of let you know what you're missing. Fin and then it sort of print out a final percentage and a final letter grade. So this is a tool you can use to sort of answer the questions along, what do I need to get a so-and-so grade in this course? Um, Hopefully you find this tool useful and have fun.